What's going on guys and girls, it's go. Oh, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins. We're here in the hippo, or the almost in the hippo's mouth. There are two very angry ground pigs looking to swallow. Oh, they've already eaten a lot of passerbys, and we're trying to recover the bodies. It's a little difficult when you got two hungry, hungry hippos trying to feast on your freaking hands. Thank you for all the support on the first video. Love that we got so much AC Origins up on the channel, and it's Xbox One X gameplay, so it looks oh so freaking good. I decided to show it to you guys in 1080 I can do a big 4K video if you want later, um, but I decided to show it to you in 1080p since most people, that's how they're going to play, that's what they're going to see. And I figured that would probably be, you know, the, the appropriate best way to do this. That was kind of my, my thinking. Um, we're just taking these bodies with us and trying not to look suspicious. I mean, it's got to look weird if you're a dude in Egypt, worn out, and all of a sudden you just got dead bodies lurking with you. You know what I mean? Like, hey, um, just carrying some mer men and women around. I promise it was the hippo. I promise it was the hippo. All right, we gotta throw this guy on the ground. There we go. Wait, not him? No, not him. I would help you. All right, so we're looking for a specific carcass. Uh, so we'll continue the hunt. I really like this. I like, like the very yellowy green look. I don't know. Like typically, I wouldn't think that yellow and green would be good colors for a video game or I don't know, just like art in general. But they really evoke such a such an interesting environmental aesthetic. In a really angry level 12 hippo. I, lo I love that the hippo even has a level. Dude, this hippo has been training our freaking core. He has been chewing and chomping. And he is not going to mess around with nobody. Uh, we'll eagle strike him. I wish we could... Remember in... Um, which one was that? Far Cry Primal? You could like drop bombs with your, uh, your feather. Maybe you can eventually get strike capacity. Uh, or strike capabilities rather. With your eagle buddy. Okay, we're going to sneak up on this hippo. Hungry, 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 hungry. Please don't turn. Okay. Okay, Hippo does not notice us taking his... His trophy. But we can see... Uh, some little instances of alertness with those... White marks on the edges of the screen. Alright, so we gotta continue... To work on this freaking Hungry River quest. Screw the Scarab. We don't, who needs him? We gotta fight the hippos. Oh, there's rebels up there having some battles. But listen, I got hippo issues. Is that the right one? Yeah, no, yes. Um, really now? Okay. Even more bodies to mess with. Alright, these people are on the loose. Dynamic events. Okay. Oh, let's see if we can take this dude off. Got some angry, angry archers, riders. Come on, get a good shot here. Oh, wow, okay. Need that Breath of the Wild uh, motion control aiming, don't we? Man, I was really hoping that AC Origins would be on Switch. I think Ubisoft has shown great support for the Switch. Heck, they, they partnered directly with Nintendo for Mario Plus Rabbids, so I think if the sales impress them with things like Mario Plus Rabbids, I think we get AC next year on Switch, and that would be freaking incredible. Obviously, hmm. is this Maketra? Not this. Ooh. This is my wife's brother's son. He was a fool, a brave fool, but a fool. My fool Obviously, like the advantages that the Xbox One has with making it look so pretty aren't going to be there on Switch, but being able to take this portably would be gold. And who knows? You know. There's been a lot of post-release ports for Switch. We're getting Doom. We're getting Wolfie 2. Uh, we got Skyrim. We're supposedly still getting Steep. I think bringing the South Park games and Assassin's Creed would be big gets for Nintendo. Big gets for Switch fans. And just big expansions for the franchises in general. Anyhow, let's see if this is... Makestra. I love how we just drop them so unceremoniously. <laughs> like, hey, found the... There we go. Katra. What will I do now? Talk to me, baby. Where is Makatra? <laughs> Thank you, Neb. Their souls will now rest in peace. Who is this Makatra, your aunt mourns? Our protector. Brave and strong like you, he would chase away fierce animals or the bandits who plague us. 
I guess there's no one left who can keep us safe. Such a curse upon all of Egypt, it seems. Where do these bandits roost? There is a canyon. I would take you there, but it is far too dangerous. Also, someone must deal with the dead. Of course. I will find it. The bandits are known as the hungry oh God. ones. May the gods protect you. Oh God, more hungry things. <sighs> find and rescue Maketra in the canyon. Great. Well, that's what we're gonna do. But more hungry things. Not hippos this time, but people. Do you think they have as large of mouths as the hippos? I don't know. We're gonna continue on this quest line and see if we can come across their camp. Bandit camps. Another similarity to Horizon. Remember the bandit camps there? Alright. Away at the Sainome. And we're just... We're angry. We had to fight hippos. We gotta call Senu. Do a little air... Scout work. There we go. They kind of see us, which is not good, but... Yep. All right, so there's our people. There's our target. All right, bandits camps in the canyon, and that's specifically where we're going. The day-night cycle is stealing our sun, but it's okay. Travel is super important. I'm so glad it's here. And again, the more and more seamless that they make these games. By the way, that was a really nice effect. Running through those and having the actual pedals fluff up. Like I'm just trying to notice things that are different and how they've evolved Assassin's Creed, even in subtle ways. But anyhow. Seamless, fast travel, super freaking important, and something that I definitely, definitely am in Jones and Ford. Uh, Alright, so we are gonna, I guess, try and get vertical here, it looks like, is the goal. What we want to do, doesn't seem to be very possible, though. On, uh, this, this building? Okay, we found a way, there we go. Keep on climbing. When it seems impossible... Just keep climbing. Bayek learned that one from freaking Dory. There is swimming. A lot of swimming in this game, too, which I'm pretty pumped for. What is this? Oh, a synchronization point. Gotcha. Cool. It's a pretty low synchronization point. I'm hoping, beyond all hope, that in the bigger cities, right? Or, like, when we climb pyramids or climb some of the... I don't know, things like the Patra's palace or whatever, that there'll be really high... Um points, because that's the thing that really bugged me about, like, AC3 and a couple of them. I love verticality, and I feel like when you get so high up old, you really appreciate the scope of what they did. Also, note that it said Senu's perception has increased. I wonder if that's its range? It's gotta be, right? Ooh. New location discovered. Did you see how it got all, like, Egyptian? I bet a tomb. Or something of this sort? Maybe not? Kill captain, loot treasure. Or lost treasure. Yeah, maybe this is a treasure... Uh, cove, basically. I have yet to see any of the true, like, tomb gameplay. I don't know if there's any in this, uh... In this four hours of footage. We'll have to see. Ooh. Lit the arrow on fire. And now we're gonna gun for this dude. Light him up, baby. Oh! Alright, good work. Little dynamic Far Cry fire action there. And I think they found us. I think they found us. Where is our level 12 hippo when you need them? Damaging these dudes. How do you feel about the numbers, okay? Like, games like Borderlands really succeeded by throwing numbers up on the screen because it adds a sense of satisfaction when you deal damage. I don't know if I like it in Assassins, though, because it is a game that's supposed to be, like, so, like, historical and so much about desynchronizing yourself and laying spread eagle like a freaking blood angel, but I feel like one of the cool aspects of Assassins is like when you could remove a bunch of the UI and just really take in the surroundings. So I don't know that I like numbers here. I do like the combat. I do like that the weapons themselves have you know, like that they have specific stats. Just kind of wish that the numbers weren't there. To me it is a little corny. Plus we already have so many numbers on screen with like Distance markers, you got your own level marker in the upper right, you're gonna have level markers of your enemies. Alright, yeah. Oh, it is loot treasure. I thought it was lost treasure. I wonder, are there any things- remember how in Assassin's Creed 2, 
One of my favorite elements were the different, um, like the brain teasers that tied back into the sort of mystery of what was really going on with the overarching story. Now, I know that they're not going to do those kind of brain teasery puzzles again, but I do wonder if the modern day era will tie in some something similar. I thought that was really clever and a great way. It, it was a gamey way to expand upon the lore and the narrative, but it was still a way that really, I felt, added like this... I don't know, it kind of broke the fourth wall in a way and said like, hey, there's something far greater going on here and I hope that the modern day aspects of Origins are able to bring that back. Like, yes, it was cool when we were able to go through rifts and stuff um, into sort of future America or things of that sort, but I honestly just prefer like the archeological mysteries and the Templar intrigue of two. Now, I don't know what the plan is here, but we're completely alerting and attracting the entire armada of evil right at us did not work one-on-one -on -one last time so not sure how seven on one is gonna work this time but uh maybe they won't see us maybe we're gonna do a little oh okay dude oh okay we almost played it perfectly i thought they were gonna do a little like bait and switch like lure and leave but that did not work out so well so now it just seems like it's gonna be a battle royale so prepare yourselves for combat and chaos. Maybe be carborn is required besides hot cocoa for this one. I think it's about to get fierce. Let's go. Numbers are flying, and at this point, I will accept it because we have to take these dudes out. It's a pretty combat scenario just given that these are level 14 enemies and we're level 12. They are chewing through their health meter pretty quick. They're also chewing through mine. I don't know if this uh this is gonna bring another death. Um if you didn't see the first video, we're sick the night before this event, so um, a, a very kind soul from Ubisoft played through and recorded, so this is kind of like a movie to me, because I don't know what's going to happen at each and every turn. Like, maybe they're going to die. Maybe they're going to chop the rock wall. Maybe they're going to live. But our health is coming back, and our shield seems to be okay. So let's approach this from another angle. We've distracted. We've diverted. Now let's destroy. Alright. We're still on the main goal of looking for Maketra, and it's gotta be in this canyon camp, right? Even though there is like a loot treasure, kill captain, location objectives, blah 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 blah. This still clearly is also our quest objective, so we're in the right spot, and it's important that we, it's imperative rather, that we finish this off. Good shot! That's a freaking, is that not a kill? Dude, yeah, it's because these guys are either our level or above. They're really resilient, or maybe it's that our bow just isn't a great bow? I don't know, it's a blue bow? Maybe we need that purple bow. This guy's coming straight at us. And if this isn't giving you Horizon vibes with the bow and the lurking in the leaves, then you probably didn't play Horizon, because this, like, literally, I swear there's a camp that looks like this in Horizon. <laughs> I swear there's a scenario where you are above and you're taking dudes out from below and it looks so freaking similar, obviously. These games are developed completely independently, completely independent cycles and whatever. Alright. Let's go. We're making some progress. Burning their booties. Apparently, though, they're all fire. They don't really care so much about fire. There's the captain. The dude with the crown. He is the grandmaster of all this mess. And if it wasn't hippos, now it's humans. And they are hungry. Um, but I think we're going to do, like, a very aerial and uh, distance approach, which I kind of like. It takes so many freaking arrows to shoot these guys, though, and to kill them. They don't want to die. Oh, missed assassination attempt, but one slice should finish. And that'll be 10 XP and a little loot for me. And we're good to go. Who else we have here? I wonder, like, what else you can craft arrow-wise. Like, eventually, can you get, um, like, you know, bomb arrows, that sort of stuff. I have to imagine, yes. Although, it's cool that we can environmentally affect the arrow by lighting it on fire. I like that a lot. Um, so much of the time that I played AC Origins, and thus far, this, uh, part one and part two, have been in very exposed and open areas. So, I'm, I'm curious to see when it does venture into a a major city how the gameplay feels because so far we're we're kind of like witcher-esque in the way that this is structured 
and I hope that it's able to bring in like the best elements of assassins as well and I know like obviously very different RPG system than Witcher but just from like a hey how the quests are structured where we are good headshot there L little golf clap for this guy I like that one a lot I do hope that the, the interior city game playing um, is very like rooftops and really big peaks and really awesome interesting uh, ascension missions and tombs and I don't know freaking tales from the crypt give me some mummy come alive stories I want to face off against some statues there's this really creepy Sesame Street skit uh, and I, w I had this tape when I was little um, and it was I believe it's the bedtime stories and songs VHS I know this is way too much detail for for just a weirdo anecdote but uh, it was bedtime stories and songs and Ernie and Bert were in an Egyptian uh, like tomb doing some exploring and there was a freaking mummy that came to life and it was always creepy because it kept like looking at them eventually it sung with them because like this is Sesame Street but for like the first couple minutes you're like dude there's no ordinary puppeteering there is some pretty pretty nefarious things lurking because it just kept like stalking them through this tomb and I was like a little five-year-old trying to listen to my bedtime stories and songs like dude I just want to go to sleep but I wanted to have nightmares about a freaking mummy that looks like Ernie that also comes out of the freaking coffin and tries to kill sarcophagus sneaking there's our, our lost treasure it's a nice regular sword also this dude is just chilling let's unlock his door free the prisoner captain is gone and uh the treasure is ours now defend Maketra uh oh they're coming for him All right, ooh, a sickle sword. That looks pretty good. A level 12 sickle. I definitely hope we equip that. Please equip that. I'm going to send mental telepathy to this player and say, like, please. Please put this sword on. I do like that there's different cat weapons. You know, it's not just like, oh, upgrade your hidden blade, upgrade your sword. But that you can kind of modify your arsenal to fit your style. And that theory, there will be a lot of different combat um, tempos, right? Heavy, you want light. Okay, so Maketra is good. Thank you. But why did you save me? Your aunt spoke of your desperate straits. I would free any unjust captive, but the plight of a protector is something I cannot ignore. You are a Medjai. We are of the same brotherhood. Yes, I must hurry home. The war chief, Fat Homer, took the hungry great ones on a raid. You move like a lion. <laughs> would you help me stop them? Oh, God. I move like a lion. I feel like that's a common, though, since I'm such a freaking Detroit Lions fan. Telling me I move like a lion? It's a about as good as it could get now we are going to kill all bandits because listen a couple canyon bandits not enough for Bayek not enough for Maketra not enough for the hungry river so now we're gonna head 400 meters uh, to the east and get our revenge on all of these bandits follow Maketra and maybe it'll be morning by the time we arrive Back at Cannabis Nome, this is kind of where we started off. So it's all coming full circle. I'm guessing once we move deeper into the Scarab's like, main quest, we will hit up a main city, which will be awesome. But first off, we're getting our like Witcher Horizon vibes. And that's where Assassin's Creed Origins, I think, can really excel, is the fact that it brings it all together, right? It can do this open world, sort of vast landscape horizon Witcher type thing. It can also do city-based, explorative, combat and platforming which is something that those two games don't have obviously which are as cities we are not really like approaching them in the same way all right what's up bandits the hungry great ones are gonna kill us all don't let them open their mouths freaking stuff it with spearmint gum and really spicy lifesavers i don't want any of these hungry hooligans killing any more villagers this dude's got some crazy combos but we're playing pretty smart here. Block and shock. Dodge and destroy. That is how we go. That is why our name is Roy. Super Smash Brothers call out. Thank you very much. Please bring it to Switch. Amen. Okay. This guy has a little bit of a... A little bit of chip on his shoulder. He's got a red shield above his bar because he's a higher level. And it looks like he's fighting with a sickle-style weapon. Now... Gosh, we are... We should probably use our... I guess that's not our shield. I guess that's our, like, rage meter, right? Or what's it called? Not rage, but, like, a meter that allows you to kind of go ham. It's actually, like, asking us to please bless right bumper and right trigger 
to activate, but I guess we're just like, we're way too cool for that. We're just gonna use traditional combat maneuvers to crush this fool or get crushed. All right, sorry for the desynchronizations. I don't know when these are coming. Like I said, I kind of wanted to, kind of wanted to watch this blind with you because I thought it'd be more fun and I thought it would bring about a more exciting uh, experience. It's cool though that it loads so freaking fast. And I'm guessing that is something that Xbox One X is also gonna enhance, right? Just because of the extra, the teraflops. The many teraflops will put us in pretty quick load times, which is good. Like, that's, that is nice loading. Alright. This dude don't stand a chance. He is, uh, gonna get one slice and done. Ubisoft has had a lot of experience with combat lately with stuff like For Honor. Kind of wish they just straight up brought For Honor's combat into Assassin's Creed. Maybe that's something they can do in the future. I love that combat. Then again, the game kind of... It sold really well on the like, initial launch, but I don't think it has the lasting power that they hope for, or that I hope for, frankly. I really love that game. But maybe the combat is just too... too specific for, for most players. I don't know. If if I could bring 400 combat into AC, dude, that would be awesome. It would make the battles way more, like, one-on-one -on -one style than, um... you know, like, Bandit Armies versus Bayak, but... uh, yeah. I would still be a huge fan. I still think they should bring freaking Bayak 2 for honor. There we go. Finally getting that freaking aggressive action with that meter. A finishing kill. Still got to kill all the bandits. We're working through. Nice bow shot. There we go. I feel like I don't I don't want to call it auto aim. And maybe this dude is just legit or this, this girl is legit at aiming. But I feel like the arrows, like, they kind of, like, home in slightly. Maybe not a ton, but... A little bit, like a wee bit, right? All right, this guy's coming at us. Looks like we got three enemies left. One being stronger than the others. Um, maybe a little verticality here. It'll be a, a better option. Oh, this guy's got the same idea. Look at this dude. He's trying to do the same thing. He's perching and praying on all of the poor folk down beneath. All right, we've been spotted. Come for me. Let's have a roof fight. Duel me a roof, dude. Oh, wow. Maketra comes in and getting some slashes in on this guy. And that opens us up for an opportunity to come in with the melee. Look at that. Him and his horse are just flinging. And stringing this guy along. And then we come in. Just, just doing your duty. This ain't your duty. Get out of here. This guy is really tough. We're only doing 41. Like, think about the dudes that we do, like, 182. Nice dodge, though. Little, little slow down there, as you saw. And then this guy is literally a strike away. Good dodge and finish him off. The bigger bosses, um, I remember from the arena boss battle I got to play at E3. Uh, they do have different strings of attacks. So, like, that guy obviously just legit did the same thing over and over again, which makes it pretty easy. Or even the guy we saw last episode, right, with the big sort of club weapon. They have different combo chains, different attack routines, so that it is a little bit more different. Oh, we can just assassinate those dudes if we wanted to, but I don't know that they're part of the mission. Maybe they are. Yeah, I think there's only one other guy here that technically is part of the bandit brouhaha that we have uh, engaged in. We just assassinate this dude from above. Come on, get or not. Okay. Maybe we don't have that yet. I don't know. It's like one of the first things I'm grabbing. Okay, sweet. Chariot. All the bandits have been eviscerated. There's a freaking crocodile in it. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Those crocodiles, hungry humans. This has been definitely a freaking aggressive episode. And I guess we those guys out as well. Working our way to 13. Lucky 13. As the crocodile is slain. It's kind of sad to be super serious. Like... Uh, and we'll finish dude off that's trying to come topside and take us on Gazoon tight. Goodbye, good luck. Get out of here. Ooh, nice little shield bash. But you are... Okay, so these guys are not bandits. This must be like Imperial Guard or like the freaking... Uh, like I would call it, like the police force here. Let's do that finisher attack. And with the help of Megetra... We will slice and ice and make it nice and then get to hopefully discuss this mission and leave this hungry river. Don't drink water from the hungry river. It's bad luck. Super bad juju.
Meketra, I think we are done. You fought like a lion yourself. I have learned much from you. You've made me a better protector. Egypt needs more people like you. The land needs more people like us. I will sing songs of our battle to my aunt to remember this day. Huh. Songs of the battle, two lions completing quests, and grabbing ability points. So as we figure out what we want to do, I'm going to wrap this episode up. Thank you guys and girls so much for watching. You ready for more AC Origins? I'll bring it your way. I cannot wait to see where they go. Ooh, look at that. Elite Ranger. Aiming with your bow while in the air will trigger slow. Basically, Horizon and <laughs> freaking Zelda. These three games are going to be juggernauts when it comes to Game of the Year discussions. I can just feel it. And so we have to further our adventures. Next time, let me know if you want to see it. I'll bring it your way. We'll see what we pick. And we'll continue, hopefully, on that Scarab quest. Until then, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Fantastic day, drinks much all. I love you, and we'll see you all. That's a good choice. Thank you. All right, this one is uh, increase. Wait, what did he get? Increase the freaking power of our power charge of the bow. One of the two. We'll read it and we'll recap when we restart next time. Until that time, everybody, drinks much all. Thanks again. Fantastic day. I love you, and we'll see you all later.